you could have encryption. You could encrypt your data and send it to Dropbox or send it to Google or send it to your friend or send it to somewhere else. But that only gives you logical security. Dropbox could corrupt that file, delete that file, or prevent access to that file. And what the Made Safe network or gives you, or the Safe network gives you, is for the first time in the planet, you've got two things that are really important. You can self authenticate, you create your account, and you can log in. The other thing that hasn't existed is your data then has true physical security. Because I can store something on the Safe network and then say to anybody, well, go and delete it. Because you can't find it. We don't know where it goes. We know mathematically what will happen to it, but we don't know where it goes. So physical security of your information is something we've never had. And you hear people saying, our servers are in nuclear silos and all this sort of thing. Who cares? You know, there was at some nuclear, some big server place out in the desert when I was working abroad. The guy just chopped the electricity cable with an axe. You know, it's like there's, there's all your VPNs and everything for you. But actual physical physical security of your information has never ever existed. And when you say that to people, we think that's rubbish. That must have been the case. That must exist. And then you think, where, where does that exist? And then the ability to log into a fully decentralized network is the other thing that's never been done before. People say, you must be able to do that. Or, you know, you're just like BitTorrent and you're like one of these other things. And you say, well, log into BitTorrent and get your physically secured information. You can't. You, you can't. There's not been a system that you can actually log into completely on your own, make up your own authentication details, log into it without an intermediary between you and the, the data. Those two things there have never existed, and they're something when you speak to people about them, they're conv convinced that they do exist. They say, well, surely Freenet is just what you're doing. Log into Freenet and get your private data. Or surely something, it's not. It's completely different. So those underlying things of the, the authentication that can't be stopped, we can't stop anybody going onto the network. Nobody can kick anyone off the network. And the physical security of your data are inordinately important. And, and they're, they're missed almost by every single uh, person who comments and writes about like, the safe network. It's, oh, there's safe going on. Oh, it's got this. It's got a DHT. It's got this. Oh, there's encryption. There's a, some cryptography term gets mentioned, you know. And the actual fundamental key issues are, are generally generally not spotted. But those, those key issues are irrelevant of METE for the SAFE network. For humanity to have that ability now is phenomenal.